Greetings YouTube. At the time of this filming, it's the year 2023. I have no idea if this video will be ever seen in the future or not. Um, and in America right now, there are Democratic politicians trying to get laws changed that would eliminate child marriage. That means people under the age of 18 can't get married. Um, and depending where you are in the United States, the age that you are allowed to get married at varies from place to place, which makes very little sense to me, but it's that whole state's right thing that uh, has been used as a weapon of oppression and disenfranchisement uh, for, you know, a couple of centuries now. Um, but there are Republican politicians who are fighting against these laws, this idea that we should require a person to be at the legal age of 18, where they are then considered to be an adult um, before they can get married. And I think that's an appropriate time to get married. Um, I mean, if you think about it, the human brain doesn't start stop developing, stop fully reach its potential until you're about 25. Um, so anybody getting married under that maybe isn't making the best decision in the world. Um, and they may make a different decision after they've had their brain fully developed. But at least we can say legally, okay, at 18, you're considered an adult, so now you can then go out and get married. Seems perfectly sensible. Um, but there are politicians in America, Republican politicians, that are fighting against this idea. And in some places in America, and just saying this makes me want to puke, it's legal to bury a 12-year-old. Someone that isn't even a teenager. Now, there are places in the U.S. where if you were to say sexually assault someone who was 12, you would suffer a much harsher sentence than if you had sexually assaulted someone who was 22. Um, this that the law recognizes that someone who is that young is going to suffer much more greatly from that kind of a crime. But there are places where you can marry someone that's 12. 12. Having sex with someone that's 12 within the confines of marriage is still rape. They're a child. They aren't even at the age of consent, which is in, varies, again, from a place to place in America. But in my state, it's 16. And I think allowing a 16-year-old to have control of their own body is fine. But there should be limits on that. Like in, anyone over the age of, say, 18 should be considered to be guilty of statutory rape. Because there's a vast, vast power dynamic between someone that's 16 and, say, someone that's 20. But the difference between 16 and 18 is a lot smaller. Um, and there are people who are going to be in the same social circles because they go to the same schools at 16 to 18. But over that, yeah, we should be treating those people as predators because that's what they are. And senators and congressmen and Republicans across the nation that would like to preserve <clears throat> the ability to get married to 12-year-olds they're also groomers. They're predators. There's no good way to put that. If you want to protect a law that allows an adult to marry a 12-year-old, or even a 17-year-old to marry a 12-year-old, you're a groomer. You're a predator. You should be on some kind of a list, and maybe we would really take a hard look at your hard drive. Um... But that's considered perfectly normal in America for a Republican politician to stand up and fight for the right to rape children. Yeah, that's kind of astounding. So just to wrap this up, in case anybody hasn't gotten the point yet, a 12-year-old is a child. 